We've had such a lovely and chill time on Whale Island. It's a real shame to leave, but leave we must. Our journey continues. Um, we've just caught the boat back to the mainland and we're heading off again. First part of this journey actually just takes us back up the peninsula the same way we came down the other day. We're just going to be cycling around the whole bay to another beach resort called Doplet Beach. It's actually pretty much due west from where we were. So it's about a 45 mile ride today, even though as the crow flies it's probably only about 10 miles. And it's really hot again today, must be just a bit over 30 degrees. Just finished cycling up the peninsula and now we're coming along the head of the bay. Some nice looking hills in the distance. They're not for today. Just turning off here to head south again and along the mainland. Bay to our left. As always, Ben's planned this route to avoid the main roads wherever possible. Just going to be heading through the countryside for a while and Maybe a few odd small villages here and there. Today marks our penultimate day of cycling before Christmas. We have a, a beach day tomorrow at Docklet Beach. And then the day after that we cycle to Na Trang. And then from there we get a train to Ho Chi Minh City. We actually wanted to go to Dalat to do a bit of hiking, but we just couldn't arrange it in time. So we'll have to just do that from Ho Chi Minh City instead, I think. The approach into Ho Chi Minh City isn't very nice, cycle-wise. So we'll hop back on the same train that we got earlier in the trip, and whose tracks we've been following all the way down the coast. We haven't seen too many of these unharvested rice fields on our trip so far. They do look lovely, I just can't get over how green they are. Such a vibrant lush green. So picturesque here, isn't it, with the mountains in the background. see these poppadom type things on the right drying in the sun they're a popular snack here all homemade of course and with sesame seeds on the top usually passing more of these fish farms on our left vietnam is one of the uh, top exporters of fish in the world exporting fish to the us china japan thailand and south korea apparently Last year it exported almost 11 billion US dollars worth of fish. Not got too much further to go now, less than 10 miles I think. We're feeling pretty exhausted now though. The combination of the longer distances and the heat and the cumulative effect of cycling. be honest though, when you've got really pretty countryside, you don't really notice it too much. Along this little track, there's a really strong smell of thyme. It seems to be growing wild here. It smells just gorgeous. We're also seeing cactuses pretty much the first time on this trip. And more palm trees. It's definitely starting to feel a bit more arid and more beach-like. Very sandy underfoot too. Then we're here, Paradise Resort. Got a couple of nights here. We've got a nice beachside villa. It's very nice. Cheers. This is the bar restaurant area. I'll just show you the view. Pretty stunning, huh? Already managed to squeeze in a quick swim before beers. Yeah. A whole day tomorrow to enjoy the beach. We had a really lovely meal last night and uh, a 
good rest. And I've woken up quite early this morning and uh, the sunrise is just gorgeous. Just going out to have a little wander. What a beautiful part of the world, eh? Hey?